let's have a little tour. We have an, a giant village here. Big shout out to VFDH for the incredible fungi that you have made. All the buildings that you see, all the fungi, and the whole map is available in Bedrock and Java Edition for download. Links are in the down below if you would like to do that. Just throw me some support, become a Patreon or a YouTube channel member or a website member, and you could download it all. So this is the military district, and we would have our ravagers would be down here, kind of like a ravager pit. I think they would be happy, right? Uh, maybe not. Uh, this is the military area, so this is where you prepare your raids. Uh, shout out to JJ who made an amazing statue right there and this incredible building, which is a prison. This is where maybe the villagers, I think I can hear a prisoner <laughs> in there. I know, that's what I would say if I was in prison. Hmm. How did that end up here? But this is beautiful. JJ, thank you so much for building quite an epic prison, all available as schematics for download very soon indeed. Uh, a totem of undying right here to worship before you go out on your raids. And that brings us over to the residential area. Anyone recognize this library? It's all been pillagerized. And we've got loads and loads and loads of detail. By the way, big shout out to all the builders. Let me give you uh, their names, people who helped me build this project. Thank you so much to Aaron, Linsidious, VFTH, Sarasvin, Dreadspine, Tuatha, Zach, Jexy, and JJT Cake. JJ built this incredible prison. Thank you so much to the builders. You are, you know who you are. You're amazing. This is the residential area. This is where you would get most of the pillagers just hanging out, chilling. Maybe they would go to a, is there a market? I thought there was a market somewhere. There's a market. Oh yes, a market right here. This is where you would buy your pigs, I guess. <laughs> Aren't these fungi just so much fun? And look at that citadel, the light coming through the windows. Can't wait to show you guys that inside that. Just a few minutes. Tuatha built this incredible building here. This would be the evoker's house. This is where the evoker, is that the person in charge? The captain or the evoker would live in this incredible building. I think it's beautiful. Tuatha, thank you so much. Wish I had time to show you more of that. Uh, over here is, this is, oh, this is the magic area. So we've got another library in the magic area. A witch's tower by Tuatha. Isn't it getting, it's getting dark and spooky. And this is one of my favorite builds. Uh, this is kind of a communal uh, build. I think I took the lead at the start and then everyone else helped out. But this is going to be the potion maker's house. This is where they would brew the potion and I guess stir it as well for, you know, when pillagers raid you in Minecraft, they've got these bottles, enchantment bottles, and they throw them at you. And this is where maybe you could summon some vexies, and this would be the illusioner's house. And the illusioner is uh, someone who doesn't actually feature in Minecraft. And it's a bit of a shame because the illusioner is such a cool looking dude. Have you all, have you all seen the illusioner? If I get an, can I get, oh, there's no illusioner egg, but I can actually summon the illusioner. Watch this, this guy is so cool. Slash summon illusioner ha. put him in the game mojang he deserves to be in or she deserves to be in or it they the thing ha. the illusioner <laughs> looking all grumpy and that would be the illusioner's house and tower in there i can quickly show you inside i guess and then you can go up the spiral staircases and up into the illusioner's house so that would be the magical area, magical uh, towers. These towers would be, I guess, um, places again where you would do your magic and your summoning and enchanting of your weapons. Sure is dark in here. What would this section be here? I think this is maybe the businesses. This is where you would have people growing crops, running shops, running stores, running markets in here. This would be where all the pillagers would trade. Shout out to Lynn, who made this beautiful double um, forge in here, with these forges here, love that. Very, very cool. Loads of trees as well, big, big trees done by VFDH, really love the trees. And, oh, I had fun building this as well, which is like, um, like a quadruple or a triple forge as well you would get a whole bunch of workers here hammering away maybe making the axes maybe making the crossbows for the the pillagers 
So that was the industrial section. You can even see VFDH has made some cannons, a cannon shop as well. Cannons would be fun in Minecraft, wouldn't they, as well. So that is us back to the military district, which takes us, I guess, into the middle, where you have got this beautiful building here, and this is what you would call the citadel, or maybe the temple. Maybe it could be the, 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 the temple for the, the pillagers, somewhere to worship, somewhere to meet. Maybe a meeting house would be good as well. So if you put down some pillagers, what do you think, guys? This is your, your meeting area. Yeah, I was going to say that as well. And if we set the time maybe to, let's say, 7 a.m., you should see the light kind of streaming through the windows. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. You guys are lucky to be in here. You're lucky. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, such a fun build. We also added uh, a Colosseum. Now, we've built this Colosseum before. We keep adding it into our builds love the Colosseum so we just keep adding it we can't we can't resist but we did change the color the texture and the materials for the Colosseum of course I've gone the wrong way a bit of a tour of the whole build I guess now Colosseum over here please yes here we go we changed it into stone brick we used it in a desert project recently and it was made of sandstone but making it out of stone brick kind of actually makes sense and we've added some more detail in here with some nice banners and some diamonds as well so the whole place is available for download and there is definitely some secrets somewhere as well because dark saber whose name I didn't put on the board yet, Darksaber, stick your name on the board, he's definitely done some secrets underneath here, but it's just a question of finding out. Aha! So, if you find this mushroom, there's something, the blue double mushroom, there's definitely something hidden under... What have you been doing, Darksaber? It is the biggest library I think I've ever seen in Minecraft. Oh my word. We have a secret, guys. We have a secret. It is up to you to download it and find it. Uh, let me just quickly put up the chunks. We'll try and get an overview of the whole place. Now, my frames per second are going to take a dive at this point. But I think it's worth it. Load the whole thing up. What a project. Builders, thank you so, so much. You are amazing. I'll be back in a week or two with another large project. Please check out my website, andyisyoda.com. You can buy this map directly from that website. And uh, yeah, links are in the down below. If you'd like to become a Patreon YouTube channel member or a website member and you can download all my builds from 2019 loads and loads of schematics as well i'm really looking forward to making some schematic packs for download as well thank you so so much for watching and uh i'll see you next time why am i why am i invisible looks like i'm i was gonna wave goodbye but i'm invisible no my what happened to my face can i get some can i get some milk can i get some help <laughs>